awoke, drenched in sweat today. My past memories are haunting me even in my dreams. I should not have returned. I cleared my thoughts and decided to carry on with what I had begun. I set off for our family's manor in Wales so that I could finish what William couldn't. I hope Eleanor will not refuse my visit. I don't even know whether she'll still remember me. According to William's diary, the next key must be somewhere at the manor. I have to obtain it. However, I have no clue as to where to start looking. The grate is locked. Hello? Is anyone there? Hmm, no one heard me. I'll wait for a while. Maybe the ringing was too short for anyone to hear me. Hmm. It seems that the wires inside barely connect. Maybe... The doorbell must be broken, otherwise someone would surely have heard it. The left leg of the statue is broken off. There's a nail stuck in the column. It wasn't at all hard to pull out. I'll try to stick the nail under the doorbell so that it connects the wires. That seems to have helped. Someone's coming. What do you want, sir? Madame Eleanor is not expecting anyone today. I am Samuel Gordon from Black Mirror. I am here to visit Eleanor. Take me to her, please. I'm sorry, sir. That's quite impossible. What do you mean? Pardon me. You said you were a Gordon? Yes, Samuel Gordon, the son of Randall Gordon. I'd like to trust you, but I can't. There have been some problems recently and I've got to be very careful about who I let in. Maybe if you could prove your identity somehow, sir. I must say I expected a warmer reception. I'm sorry, sir. I must insist. Sir, I have served Madam for over twelve years, and I am completely loyal to her. All right. No problem. I hope you will find this to be sufficient proof of my identity. It's William Gordon's mourning card. He is one of the reasons why I have come. Of course, sir. I apologize for the disbelief. Some oodlums tried to rob us a short while back, hence the extra caution, you see. I understand. May we go in now? Follow me. I'll see you inside. Pardon me, madam. Yes, Louis. I see we have a visitor. This is Samuel Gordon. He's come from Castle Black Mirror. Oh, yes. I know who he is, Louis. That's all right. Is your memory failing you? I hope you welcomed our guest warmly, Louis. I didn't know who he was, madam, and therefore I didn't want to let him in. 
Welcome to Wales, Sandal. Hopefully Louis didn't annoy you too much. No, madam. He explained the reasons for his cautious behaviour. We need to be extra careful these days. We were almost robbed last week. But that is probably of little interest to you. So why are you delighting me with your visit? Can we speak in private? I understand. Louis, can you return to your duties now? Certainly, madam. Thank you. I am so glad you have come, Samuel. I have not seen anyone from the family in years, and time passes so slowly here. Tell me, how long are you planning to stay with us? Several days, I expect, but I don't know yet. Only a few days? That's a pity. Victoria wrote about what had happened to William. I liked him very much. He was a great man. I regret not attending the funeral, but I am weak, and a long journey might affect my health further. I explained everything to Victoria in a letter. I hope she is not angry with me. Do you know whether she received my letter? I have not received a reply, and I do not know what to think about it. But I have her reply here. I promised to deliver it. Really? You are very kind. I am not keen on waiting in uncertainty. I will read it this evening. But surely you have not come just to deliver a letter. Tell me, madam, when did you last see William? Hmm. That was a very long time ago. Yes, I do remember. He came to visit two years ago, along with Robert. It was nice to see them again after such a long time. How long did they stay? Less than a month, I think. Why are you asking about it anyway? I'm picking up certain pieces of a puzzle. I see. Do you remember any significant occurrence from that visit? Did William behave normally? I do not remember him behaving in a... or maybe, as I recall, he was enormously interested in our family tune. That surprised me. He seemed quite obsessed with it. In fact, he kept asking me about it all the time and finally convinced me to take him inside. I did not want anyone to disturb my ancestor's rest, but I eventually gave in. I don't know what he'd been after, though he did not want to answer any of my questions, even though I asked him directly. That day, he really did behave strangely. William was inside the tomb. However, he found nothing, just as he recorded in his diary. I found William's personal diary, Eleanor. I read all the important records several times. He mentions the tomb you spoke about. Are you sure he did not tell you anything about it? Can you remember anything more from his visit? Much time has passed since then, Samuel. But my memory still serves me well. He did not give me any idea why he'd been interested in that place so much. Nothing at all. I understand. You most probably are aware of the curse that has harassed our family for so long. What do you think about it? The curse of the Gordons? You would not believe such a tale, would you? Being a young man of the modern age, Samuel. The chronicles state that Durgham Gordon found his final rest somewhere at this manor. Perhaps this refers to your family tomb. I do not think so. The tomb is old but not older than 200 years. As far as I know, the tales about Durgham reach much farther into the past. The only thing I know of him is the memorial with his name. Even if the Chronicles did not lie, his grave would have certainly fallen apart a long time ago. William knew that Durgham's key must be somewhere at the manor. I've 
got to get into that tomb somehow. Madam, do you know this man? He reminds me of someone, but I may be mistaken. Am I supposed to know him? Oh, I believe so. It's William's protege. James! I didn't recognize him in this older picture. I only knew him as a little boy. Oh, where could he be now? He is in Robert's care, in the sanatorium in Ashbury. Is he still... poor lad? James was quite normal when he was young, but as he matured, that strange illness of his got worse. And he started to regress rapidly. That is why in the end William put him in Robert's hands. Poor boy. I'm glad you told me. At least I can pray for him. I remember the last time I was here as well. However, I'm a little surprised that you remembered me. Of course I remember you. I have not lived here all my life. You know, I also spent some years at the Black Mirror Castle. My memory is the only thing that still serves me well. You were very young then. I can certainly understand that you would not remember the boring visits of relatives from afar. I would also like a word with Richard. Can you tell me where I can find him? Richard? My husband? I do not know. We barely see one another. I will tell you why before you ask. It's that damned chemistry lab of his and all those nonsensical experiments. You see, when he was young, he was an avowed scientist but never made his breakthrough. Years ago, he stopped his experiments for a long time, and I thought it was for good. But lately, the old fool has returned to those silly experiments and would rather spend his time with a microscope and formulae rather than with me. So you don't know where I can find him? I am angry with him right now. I am not interested in the least what he is doing or where he is. I forbade him to carry out any experiments in the mansion because I am afraid something might happen. If you want to talk to him, go to the old house in the garden. Most of the time, he closets himself in there with his chemicals. Surely, you will be able to find him. May I know which room you plan to make available for me this evening? Louis will get the East Room ready for you. It is cozy and warm. You are my guest. Thank you. Do you know that after having traveled a whole day, I almost did not make it past your main gate? Yes, I do. Louis did not want to let you in. You must forgive him. He's only doing what he has been told. Oh, it wasn't just Louis. The doorbell doesn't work. Oh, well, this whole place is falling apart. Many things do not work anymore. The mansion is slowly deteriorating. Richard does not care about these things, and I cannot manage it all alone. I'm glad I at least have Louis to help me. Without him, the garden would have become desolate a long time ago. Would you please tell Louis to fix that silly doorbell? Certainly. Eleanor, have you ever seen anything like this? No. What is it supposed to be? Oh, I hoped you would tell me. I'm sorry. According to William's diary, an object similar to this one should be somewhere here at the manor. I really have not seen anything like it before. Will you allow me to examine the grounds of the mansion? Gladly. Consider yourself at home. Just tell Louis that you are my guest. Look at these pictures. Do the images make any sense to you? Hmm. No, I'm afraid they don't. So what do the symbols mean? I'm not sure myself, but I hope to find out. I think I'll go now. The coat of arms of the Wales branch. Our family line is much older. 
Matthias Horton, Eleanor's father. He was a famous piano virtuoso in his time. I am not familiar with these coats of arms. They are not ours. Perhaps they belong to relatives of Eleanor's. A common mirror. Nothing special. The wood is crackling within the flames. The whole room is comfortably warm. I won't rest before the evening. A staircase leads to the rooms in the upper floor. I'll go to my room in the evening. I don't know what species it is, but it smells lovely. There are many of them around. They probably thrive on the damp air. The water is quite clean, no algae or mud. It reminds me of our ill-fated pond. The water is quite... May we talk? What do you want? Do you know that the bell on the main gate is not working? Yes, I'll know, but I only have one pair of hands. When I'll have finished with other things, I will attend to it. Well, you really should go fix it right away. It is Eleanor's wish. OK, I will get this done and then I'll fix it. I think I'll go now. Sir. That path leads to the old garden. Visitors are not permitted back there. Madam has given me permission, as her guest, to go wherever I please. Oh. In that case, it's all right, sir. The hose is fixed to the faucet with a strong wire. I'll get it off. Just turning the faucet should be enough to make the water run now. I don't need to wash anything yet. I haven't got time to sit here. Pity, though, this place is beautiful. There's no way to see inside from here. There's no way... An old water ditch. It could be quite deep. Now it's overgrown with bushes and tall grass. I'd say it has survived from the times of the old manor, just like the old grape that's bearing it. When was the last time water was running it? According to what Eleanor said, Richard should be somewhere inside this old house. It seems to be deserted.
locked. D and J. B. Fraser. These names don't ring a bell. These boards seem newer than the other ones on the house. Someone must have mended the hole recently. The staircase doesn't look very stable. The lower steps are broken. I can't go up. There's no going inside this way. It seems that the key is in the lock on the other side. I could push the key out of the lock, but it would fall to the floor and I would never be able to reach it. Someone dropped it here. Nothing that I would be interested in. This must be it. Durgam Gordon's tomb. I've got to get inside somehow. Part of the stone fence that the wall could no longer bear. It's sinking into the earth, saturated by the swamp. The swamp in the rear part of the garden could be quite deep. I cannot go there. Strange. The soil here is of different color than anywhere else in the garden. Strange. It must have been here for hundreds of years. It may be as old as the ruins of the church behind it. An old carving in the stone tablet reads, Durgham Gordon, 1523. The rest of the carving is illegible. Durgham's memorial. The grate is locked. The same species as the other shrubs in the garden. This one doesn't blossom though. Strange. Perhaps the dampness from the nearby swamp is affecting it. Who knows? A dead shrub. Nothing interesting. house seems abandoned. Just a few sheets of paper, some cards, and two test tubes. I don't need anything from here. I can't see anything interesting. The bottom is completely blackened, as if someone burnt something in it. These do not look like cigarette or cigar ashes. There is nothing in it. Old advertisement papers, a page with technical literature. Two ads are marked in red. A broken oil lamp. I can't do much with it. Did it run? Where 
Where is it? It's not in the cabinet. I can't see anything there. The cabinet is too dark. Just dirty paper. No, they're actually newspaper clippings. I'll have a look. A young, talented chemist acquires further appreciation. For the second time this year, a promising chemist, Richard Gordon, is attracting well-deserved attention. It has now been a week since he mentioned his work would deliver many improvements to the methodology of mammal blood research. Let's wish him good luck in his work. His research will bring fresh ideas to the domain of biochemistry. Daily Times, 19. The text that follows is illegible. I didn't know we had a famous chemist in the family. It's tightly shut. It is... It's tightly shut. It's tightly shut. Tools for maintaining the fireplace. Just soot and ashes. Apparently, no fire has been started here in a long time. A wrench for tightening hexagonal nuts. It's completely dirty. I don't want to make tea. It's completely dirty. Some old paper. I'm not going to dirty my hands on it. Some old paper. It is closed by a hexagonal latch. A cigarette lighter. It appears to be missing a wick. It's missing a wick. Other than that, it might work. An old candle with a firm wick. Hmm, let's try something. It should be useful now. Now, it works as it should. I can't see anything in it. The latch. The back of the cabinet can be pushed off. Hmm. Where could it lead? Damn! Who the blazes are you? I am Samuel Gordon. You scared me half to death. What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know somebody would be here. How did you get in? Behind an old cabinet, I discovered a passage to a small staircase leading downward. I descended into the darkness and felt a doorknob on the landing. And when I opened the door... Why did you sneak in so quietly, like a thief? I was about to say something, but you instantly spotted me. Hmm. I'm glad you aren't lying, at least. The sample in that flask was the last I had of that substance. I'm sorry to have caused you trouble. It was not intentional. Your apology will not help me now. I urgently need that substance for an experiment I'm planning to carry out this evening. How can I help you then? Would you want to? I'll try. Great. The flask contained an EX-52 oxidant. It's neither uncommon nor expensive, but it was my last bit, and I'm not getting any until a new package arrives next week. Next week? 
Well, this place is just too far away from about everything. You cannot even get a stain cleaner in the surrounding villages. So where am I supposed to get a hold of this Occident? I'd tell you if I knew. You could try Leechdale, but you would have to be back by dusk. You should be able to be here on time if you hurry. There's a drugstore in the square. That's where you want to go. Okay. I'll see what I can do. It's a boron oxidant, EX52. Write it down. Make sure of the color, a vigorously saturated blue. You can't possibly confuse it with anything else. I understand. And now, please excuse me. I have a lot of work to do. Boron oxidant. Oh, great. technical drawing of the machine in the middle of the room, I'd say. There are many indecipherable formulas and remarks under the drawing. Various scientific volumes, physics, astrophysics, nothing I'd be interested in. It's the same color as the contents of those big containers behind me, according to the color. It's probably acid. I've never seen anything quite like it before. The whole thing is probably Richard's invention. It probably has got to do with electricity, judging by the cables on the floor. It's sure to be full of various chemicals. First, I've got to get hold of that oxidant. This is what is left of the oxidant that I must get somehow. Hmm. The label reads, Oxidant EX52. First, I need some paper. It lit up.
the kettle is steaming. Hmm, let's try something. Good, I managed to get the label off the shard. The stove is already on fire. The label from the flask that Richard broke. I'm not opening it. I didn't put anything there. I'll take one. I'll fill it with water. I spilt all the ink from the pen into the glass. This should be it. The oxidant is ready. I just hope that Richard won't be examining the contents too closely. May we talk? What do you want? Louis, I'd like to have a look in the family tomb in the back garden. There is nothing to be seen there, sir. I'll decide that for myself. Can you open it for me? No, sir, I can't. Madame has explicitly forbidden it. I can't let anyone in. Surely, nothing bad will happen if you let me in. Lend me your key and I'll bring it back in a minute. No one will find out. It will stay just between us. Madam would certainly fire me if I broke her explicit order. I can't do anything. Obviously, Louis won't open the grate. Hmm. Oh well, at least I know who has the key. So what is with the doorbell? It's broken. What did you expect? It shouldn't take me long to fix it. I'll just need to find out what the problem is. All right. I think I'll go now. I can't mess with the toolbox while he's around. He would notice. Like it here. Did you have a look around the garden? Yes, this place is very beautiful. That reminds me. Is Louis still working in the garden? Yes, he's fixing the doorbell at the main gate. Can you please ask him to leave that for later and mow the lawn? Of course. I'll tell him. You are so kind. May I bother you for a moment? You are not bothering me, Sam. I like talking to you. May I ask what that composition is that you are playing? It is from a distant memory. I love this song. It has so much melancholy in it. If you are interested, I could play some more for you in the evening. That would be delightful. I had a look at your family tomb at the end of the garden. 
It looks quite well preserved, unlike the ruins on the hill. Yes, but its base is slowly sinking into the swamp. I have no idea what to do about it. The swamp is spreading more and more. In a few years, I may even see it from my window, and all those annoying insects will be flying everywhere. Do I understand correctly that you do not wish that anyone enter the tomb? I would like to ask you to make an exception and let me in. I'm sorry, Samuel. I really don't want anyone stepping inside. The dead deserve a dignified rest. I understand. I won't insist. I conveyed your message to Louis. He'll fix the doorbell by the evening. Thank you. I think I'll go now. May we talk? What do you want? Louis, Eleanor asked that I tell you to mow the lawn. I know my duty, sir. I have no time for that at the moment. Okay. I think I'll go now. I can't see inside. The glass is very dirty. Perhaps no one lives in this part of the house. May I bother you for a moment? You are not bothering me, Sam. I like talking to you. I told Louis he should trim the lawn, but he insisted on fixing the doorbell first. Oh, did he? He's hard-working and reliable, but sometimes it is difficult to get him to leave work that he has begun. Tell him that I wish him to mow the lawn right away, especially around the house. I don't want to be disturbed by that horrible sound in the evening when I'm playing. Sure. I think I'll go now. May we talk? What do you want? Louis, Madam has explicitly ordered that you start to mow the lawn. Really? Oh well, I'll do it by this evening. You must be finished before it gets dark. Madam does not want to be disturbed during the evening. Right, right. I'll do it as soon as possible. I think I'll go now. A strong glue. I'll take it. A firm wire. There is nothing else I need from the toolbox. There is nothing else I need from the toolbox. Thank you. 
haven't seen you. Bundle of keys. Great. I'll borrow it for a little while. This is where I should be looking. I can feel it. The key can't be too far. The bowl is empty. There is nothing in it. The bowl is empty. I can't see any lettering, not even a name. The writing has probably decayed over time. The tube is half empty. A stone lock, strange. Maybe it is just a symbol carved in a stone tablet. Stone lock. Strange. Maybe it is just a symbol carved in a stone tablet. The bowl is empty. Odire? Oh hmm. Viene. Doesn't sound familiar. Malite. Maybe it's a name. May we talk? What do you want? It looks like you are having a bad day. How do you mean? First the doorbell, now the lawnmower. Well, at least I've got something to do. I was planning to adjust it a bit anyway. I think I'll go now. I've gotten the substance you need. Did you? Excellent. Excellent. I'm surprised you're back so soon. You must have hurried. Well, uh, yes. No matter. The important thing is I can go back to the original variant. Thank you, young man. You have helped me a great deal. Oh, uh, it was nothing. 
I only hope Richard doesn't find out about the Occident before I'm long gone. Viene, odire, malite. Do you know what they mean? Hmm. They sound like ancient names to me. Do you know what those names mean? Well, it's not something I'm familiar with. But if you give me a bit of time, I may find the answer here somewhere. Thanks. I will ask later. When did you last see William? Oh, that must have been many years ago. I would have to try to remember. Some eight years back, I would say. Why are you asking? He was here about two years ago. Did you not see him? Was he? No, I have not. I am not interested in these family visits. You see, I have a lot of work. Have you any idea what this could be? Hmm, I haven't. But it's silver. I don't think I can tell you any more. I'll leave you to your work then. I would like to ask you something, Richard. Oh, give me a moment. I'm listening. Have you managed to discover the meanings of those three words? Yes. Maybe it won't be entirely accurate, but they do make some sense. The first one is apparently the name of an ancient Irish god of strife. The second one was more difficult, but I believe it's the name of the druid goddess of the harvest. The third one was quite simple. It is the old name of the god of the waters of the earth. Hmm. Interesting. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. It was actually quite entertaining to go through the dictionary again. I know of you from some old newspaper clippings. A write-up of your research on mammal blood. That was a very long time ago. Nowadays, I only do electrochemistry. I need something from you. Would you help me? From me? What would that happen to be? I don't know how to explain this properly, so I'll be direct. I need some blood. An ounce or so. What? Well, that really cannot be exactly easily explicable. You have all sorts of chemicals and substances around here, so it occurred to me... That I might have this as well. Well, hold on. I'll probably be able to fish something out for you. There should be some leftovers from my former experiments in the freezer here. An ounce shouldn't be a problem. Oh, so I can have it? It's all yours. Take it for whatever you need. Should you need some more, or maybe human? <laughs> well, I just ran out of it. Very funny. I'll leave you to your work then. down. Strange. The of strife. Maybe I should try blood. I poured the blood into the bowl. There is nothing in it.
I poured the soil into the bowl. I poured the water into the bowl. I can hear something. It, the Zodiac, is the right combination. What are you doing there? How did you get in? Give me those keys, for God's sake. I just wanted to see the inside of that chapel. Nobody is allowed to enter it. If Madam learned you were inside, it would be my fault. Guarding this place is one of my responsibilities, and Madam is relying on me to do it. If you don't tell her, she won't ever know. Well, you're lucky. I'll be getting bigger trouble than you for letting you in there. How could he have found me here? I've got to get inside again, but how? It would probably be best to return at night. Can I bother you for a moment? I've got quite a bit of work to do. Hurry up! Do you remember our talk about the tomb? Yes, I do. Did you manage to get inside? Yes and no, but I still want to examine it thoroughly. You're starting to interest me, young man. Why have you come to Wales anyway? And why are you so interested in our tomb? Unfortunately, I cannot explain the whole thing just now. I fail to see what draws you to that place so much. I have to get inside somehow, that's all. But? But Louis won't let me. Louis makes no trouble. He's just doing what he is told. If it was something else, I'd settle it for you. But the tomb is a problem. Eleanor is very respectful of her ancestors and guards the place as if it were a shrine. I can't do much about it, you see. Yes, but no one will find out. I promise. I just need the key for an hour or two. No, that's quite impossible. Eleanor takes the key from Louis in the evening and keeps it in her bedroom for the night. What do you suggest, then? Me? Well, maybe. I can't promise anything, but if you help me out, I'll make it easier for you to get inside. I'll do what is needed. So what's the plan? I'll explain everything later. But I have a couple of rules. First, you will come down here when it's dark. Second, you must not tell anyone. Why are you doing this anyway? You mean why am I helping you? I have my reasons. 
just like you have yours. So, how is it? I will do anything if you get me inside. All right, we have a bargain then. I'll leave you to your work then. I waited until the last sound had quieted in the mansion, so I could be sure I could leave my room unnoticed. is locked. This place looks entirely different at night. There's no way to see him. Richard has locked himself in. Did he forget about our agreement? I need to draw his attention somehow. This time, the key isn't there. I'll try to hit the window. Missed. I hope they hear that inside. I'd better go to the door quickly. I've been expecting you. Follow me. So is everything clear? Yes, I believe it is. I'd better describe the whole process once more. No, that won't be necessary. I understood everything. You will have to assist me. Follow my orders exactly during the whole experiment. Agreed? Of course. Variant 2. Variant 2. Variant 7 follows. Nice and simple. So it has time to mix. I understand. Back to Variant 2. Number 3 will follow. 2 and 3 follows. Now we must wait a little. Right. This is the moment. From now on, it's going to be easy. Just keep turning it down as I told you. Yes. Easy. Easy. Keep going. Right then, we're mostly done. We just need to add the oxidant. Oxidant? What oxidant? The one you managed to break this afternoon. What luck you had catching the druggist. Well... Maybe I should tell you something. Hurry up, then. The time's almost up. The Occident. You see, it actually isn't... No! How could this happen? I checked my calculations to the smallest detail. A mistake was inconceivable. Well, maybe... You needn't apologize. It's not your fault. 
I must have made a mistake with the ratio somewhere. Damn! Yes, everyone makes mistakes. Well, you have fulfilled your part of our agreement. Now it's my turn. It's right there by the door. That green flask. Flask? You promised to get me inside the tomb. I have promised to make it easier for you to get inside. You must realize I could not look Eleanor in the eye if she found out I had lent you the key. Sure, but what do I do with that flask? The container is of little importance. It's the content that matters. It's a strong concentrated acid that will dissolve most metals on the table of elements. That should do the trick for you. Right. Now, it's completely destroyed. Hopefully, Richard won't find out what happened before I leave. We'll see how strong this acid is. Very well. The lock has fallen off. A secret passage. I can't go any further. The tomb is locked like a safe. At least I know I'm approaching my goal. I think I'll need the right key. The lock looks odd and quite complex. That symbol on the lock though, I've seen it before. Pardon me, can I ask you something? Yes. There is a symbol of a very unique cross-like shape in the chapel. Would you happen to know anything about it? Oh, I think I know what you mean. It's an old symbol of the nobleman of the manor. It's strange, though. I've never noticed it there myself. Eleanor has got the only remaining one in her jewelry box. I'd like to see it. Where exactly is that box? She tends to keep it nearby. It's probably somewhere in the main hall. The mansion will be closed for the night. Take my key from the table over there. Thanks. I'll leave you to your work then. The bottom part looks exactly like the opening in the grate of the underground tomb. Iron juts are coming out of the bottom side.
This must be Durgan's tomb. There's an opening on the top. Use a stranger's head, or your own will shed. I'll try to push the lid off. steam makes it impossible to estimate the distance to the bottom. The floor may have collapsed deeply. I'd better hold back. The roots have worked their way down here. Soon they will disrupt the whole ceiling of the tomb. They've all been chiseled from stone. Except for their size, there is nothing special about them. This one has a crack on it. It looks a bit different than the other ones. It has probably cracked by itself. Who knows? can't have fallen any worse. I probably ran out of luck in the mines yesterday. Damn, it's too far. I can't reach it. It's too far. This one isn't made of stone like the other ones. To whom could such a large skull have belonged? Maybe I'll reach it now. An old key with a drawing of a human skull. That sound! What was that? Dagen Gordon. I did not have any reason to extend my stay in Wales. The next morning, I said goodbye to Eleanor and returned to Black Mirror.